So today I'm going to be talking about Rene Descartes and his meditations. So um, I guess I'll go through them in order. There's the first meditation where Descartes starts um, to wonder whether sense experience is real or not. So he, and he um, experiences radical doubt with sense experience. Um, then in the second meditation he realizes that although you can doubt everything, there is one thing that there that you cannot doubt, and that's the self as a thinking being. Because in the process of doubting, you exist. And there's no denying that. You can't deny that you're doubting. And that's why the one thing you know is that you exist. In the third meditation, there's a first proof of God. In that, we all have an idea of a perfect being, of an infinite being. We cannot have created this idea because it has more reality than us. Therefore, God must exist because he must have implanted in us this idea of the perfect being. The fourth meditation then talks about human erring and why humans err. And he finally comes up to the conclusion that although humans have infinite will, they only have limited understanding. And it's when this will exceeds understanding that we make an error. Um, in the fifth meditation, there's the second proof of God, where, um, where perfection demands existence. So, a God that exists in reality is more perfect than one who, dis who doesn't. A God that exists simply as an idea cannot be fully perfect unless he exists in reality, and that's why he must exist. So, he concludes then his meditations with the sixth, where he tackles the difference between thought and extension. And he explains that these are two different substances that are completely separate and thought is superior to extension. Um, and it is here where he realizes that it is this separation which is why sense experience changes and is so confusing. And he finally realizes that in the end sense experience cannot be tricked. Um, finally, there are some properties that he discusses in between the meditations where he talks about modes which are um, color which are kind of like colors or adjectives that could be used to describe a being um, these modes have less reality than infinite beings so they they are less applicable okay so there's a ranking of what has more reality. At the top is the infinite being, which is God, and he has the most reality of all. Underneath that, there are finite beings, which include us humans, which include and things from, of extension as well, and then underneath that, having even less reality, are modes. And modes ha are the colors or properties that finite beings have on objects. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. Thank you. No problem.